Welcome to Deep Thought. Missing what has always been there. You know what? Y'all probably notice on this channel, I'll talk about something that just happened because everything is thought. The whole universe is thought and just something to think about. You know, the other day I was getting in the car with my sons. We, you know, coming out the garage and everything. And I noticed my son had his hand on a grab handle on the um, passenger seat side. You know, the grab handle up there, you know, you can grab it, making those turns or something. And I looked at it. I say, how long has that been there? Now, I had this car since uh, February of 2020. And that's the first time I noticed it. It, for the first, from February of 2020, when I got the car until August, no, no, it was still, it was a couple days ago when I'm recording this, July, last day of July, or last weekend of July, 2023, right? I'm just, no, I'm, I'm just now seeing this. I'm like, how long has that been there? And I'm like, wait a minute, I done drove this car all over the place. I'm like, I hadn't noticed it. Wow. Made me start thinking. I started looking around the car and everything. I actually looked at my spare tire. And then I was like, wait a minute. I did see this. I just haven't, well, I did need to use it one time. But, well, think about using it. Didn't feel like changing the tire, though. Um, long story. Anyway, uh, just got a new tire instead. I'll put it like that. But anyway, though, I was like, wow, that's always been there. But I thought about that on a bigger level. I didn't notice it because I don't use it. I don't, I don't, in my own car, I don't drive on the passenger, I don't ride on the passenger side. And then when I'm in other cars, I don't think about it. The few times I'm like in a passenger seat, I don't think about it, right? And I was thinking, oh, okay. And I thought about it on a bigger scale. Um, we can always miss what's always been there. Like, I, here's a, another example. When, you're, when I'm driving, and y'all probably had the same thing. How often have you been just riding down like a road or something? You probably go down it all the time. It's normal. But then you see something. You just happen to look over and you see something. Like, I, I noticed I would tend to see like different houses or something. And I was like, how long has that been there? You know? And then you think about it, it was like, I don't have a reason to look over there. You might just glance over there, it's like, oh, that's a nice, wow, has it been there all along? You know, you look at it, it wasn't just built, because you probably would have noticed it being built. It's always been there, you know? And I was thinking about that, right? I was thinking about that. It was like, wow, you know? Because, you know, going through life, just going, just being up, Honestly, we can't pay attention to every little thing. It'd be nice if we could, but we really can't because it would probably be too overwhelming. You know, okay, right now I'm looking in the camera. You know, I got the music in the background. But then there's going might be a car or two that pass, uh, pass by. Might be some noise. Might be some birds or something. It could be anything. But what am I focused on? I'm not noticing that. Like when we're out and about, we usually either thinking about something that's happened in the past, something that might happen in the future, what we, we think about where we're going and everything. And then, you know, we're keeping our mind sharp enough just to, you know, pay attention. Well, somewhat attention. Sometimes people don't be paying attention. You be stuck in all your stuff or, you know, walking along, looking in our phone. We're not, but subconsciously we're taking in everything. But it might be overwhelming to, um, consciously taking everything to pay attention to every little thing. Oh, there, there's that ant. Oh, there's that bird. Everything, you know, it can be very overwhelming. But sometimes we can miss what's there, too. We can miss what's there. And most of the time it's not a problem. Most of the time it's not a problem because it's not affecting us directly. The bird flying over, a bunch of cars whizzing by. It's not affecting us directly. Unless that car gets out of control, is coming our way, then we need to have been paying attention. But, you know, and I, it was just a thought about it, like just really, just the things in life that is right in front of us. And unfortunately though, sometimes we'll miss something that's important. 
we'll miss something that's important. It was like, hey, how come I ain't noticed that before? You know? But then it might have been important, but maybe not important before we had to notice it. Because sometimes, like, here's an example, you'll notice something that becomes important. Like, times in the past when I had to, like, look for a place to live, all of a sudden you start seeing the for rent signs or you see the house sale signs and everything. It was just like, oh, I wonder how long that's been there, you know? Because you didn't have to pay attention to it at first, but it becomes important. Or if you're looking for a job, you're paying attention to like all the possibilities. Like I remember back in 2005, yeah, 2006 rather, 2005 or six, Ooh, that was a while ago. Um, even though I had my business, I still needed more money because anybody who followed me on the money channel, I was like, yeah, if you got a business, it's more than okay to get a day job. But I needed a job and I did it the old fashioned way, you know, not just looking at newspaper or something. We still had newspaper ads back then. Uh, the internet ads were just, man, that was kind of a newer thing coming up. But I didn't see, you know, and I think I glanced at something, didn't see anything, so I did it the old-fashioned way. I could just put on a nice, you know, nice shirt and pants and just hit the, hit the pavement. And ironically, I went a couple places that, uh, one was this store, it was selling African goods and everything. They had a help wanted something. I said, hey, went in, boom. You know, pretty much, you know, uh, pretty much got it that day. But then on the way back, I happened to see a gym. And I was like, how come I ain't seen this gym before? <laughs> I stopped in there and I just asked them, I was like, hey, y'all looking for anybody? Boom, yeah. And I thought about that, so that's a good thing. You start noticing stuff. But I'm gonna tell you what it is with that. When you put it in your mind that you need something, all of a sudden, your subconscious will come up and say, hey, okay, oh, you need this, you need this job, okay. We're gonna start, because your subconscious is taking in everything, I'm gonna start paying attention to everything in the environment. Because like I said, we see everything, but we're not conscious of it. But if it's something you need, all of a sudden your subconscious is like, ding, 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 ding. You know, all of a sudden you see it. it would be like, well, damn, that's been there all along, but you didn't need it for anything, you know? You, you didn't need it, you, didn't, you weren't aware of that option and all of that. That's very important, that's very important. You know, bringing that back around to the grab handle, I didn't need it for anything, I didn't use it, you know? So uh, that's the thing, because then you'll miss stuff uh, most of the time because you're just simply not looking for it. But then if it's important to you, all of a sudden you start seeing it. Like if you really want to make money, do everything. If you really want to make money and you had the right mindset, all of a sudden possibilities will open up or you'll start seeing opportunities if it's what you really want. Like I always say, if your mind is open to something, you put it in your mind, boom. In fact, that's a part of the thing of, uh, that's actually a part of a thing of uh, prayer. That's part of a thing of prayer. Part of it is going, if you need something bad enough, all of a sudden, that's on your spirit or subconscious, whatever you want to call it, to start seeing things. Now, if you say, well, is, is God? Well, God got to put it there for you. Because let me, let me end with a story. What's, what, uh, let, me, let me end with a story. Um, I've told this story before about a priest who was, he, it was being flooded and the priest prayed to God and said, hey, you know, save me. Okay. So as the water was rising, first one boat came by and the priest said, oh no, God's going to save me. Another boat came by as he was getting high, as the water was getting higher. And no, the priest let it go, said, God's going to save me. Then a third boat came by and the priest said, God's going to save me. The priest ended up dying. When the priest got to heaven and said, God, I kept asking you to save me. How come you didn't save me? And God said, I sent you three boats. <laughs> Look, here's the thing. The thing is, 
I would say, if you want to find something or you want to see, keep your eyes open. Keep your eyes open. Focus on it, keep your eyes open. And yeah, like I said, it, 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 it's hard to take in everything. It can overwhelm you all of a sudden. But if it's something you need, it can probably be right there. And sometimes it might have been right in front of you. I want you to think about that. So anyway, yeah, a real deep thought thing. Really think about it. <laughs> anyway, y'all, I'll talk to y'all later. Peace and blessings.